title is Moving Fiji Forward with Equality. Every society has a common goal, and that is to have unity and equality. However, not every single person thinks or feels the same way and always conclude that they are more superior to others. Many people have been fighting for different equalities, such as female rights and gay rights, for many years, but these have only been taken seriously the past few years. This essay will express my opinions on how youth can help move Fiji forward by promoting common and equal citizenry. To begin with, as a Chinese student, I have faced a lot of racist remarks about my culture, how we look and how we speak. Even so, I never take these comments to heart because I believe that those who speak with such words are ignorant. Therefore, the first step to having equality is for everyone to have a solid foundation of education about treating everyone equally. We can achieve this by teaching the future generation to have common and equal citizenry, and they must not speak ill or look down on others just because they are different from them. In addition, I am also aware that those who do not agree with being equal as others are also very narrow-minded. Having said that, we must not blame them for their behavior because that was how they were brought up. However, there are ways in which we can change their mindsets and perspective about certain issues by showing them that discriminating others is wrong and they should be more open about human differences. We can also show them how determined we are in achieving equal citizenry. Quote, everybody thinks that equality comes from identifying people and that's not where equality comes from. Equality comes from treating everybody the same regardless of who they are." Unquote. This is a famous quote about equality by Matthew Bomer. In order to promote equality, we must treat everyone fairly. It does not matter what race they are, their gender, religion, or preferences. Treating, treating everyone fairly means allowing everyone to have access to the same opportunities and chances. As stated in the Constitution of the Republic of Fiji, Chapter 2, Bill of Rights, 26, Right to Equality and Freedom from Discrimination. Quote, Every person is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection, treatment, and benefit of the law. Unquote. End quote. Every person has the right to access, membership, or admission without discrimination on a prohibited ground to shops, hotels, lodging houses, public restaurants, places of public entertainment, clubs, education, institutions, public transportation services, taxis, and public places." Unquote. Equality can also be achieved by having cultural activities such as cultural language classes, sing-alongs, and story time so that we can have a mutual understanding of one another's culture. Additionally, the citizens of the nation should also get together during national celebrations like our recent victory from the Rio Olympics in an effort to bring people together and united. Furthermore, the important elements of equality are honesty, kindness, compassion, treating people the way you want to be treated and helping those in need. These are values that should be first taught at home. By teaching these values to our younger siblings of this nation, they will be able to grow up with having these values at the back of their heads and become better and compassionate citizens. To sum it all up, here are two quotes by Malala Yousafzai, an activist for female education who laments that, quote, we cannot all succeed when half of us are held back, unquote. This quote implies that we cannot move Fiji forward if most of us are still narrow-minded. Instead, we must embrace changes because change is inevitable and those who are not on board will get left behind. In addition, the second quote reads, quote, there should be no discrimination against languages people speak, skin color, or religion, unquote. This quote is one of the main mottos we must have in order to attain e equality. To conclude, a small nation like Fiji has already proved to the world that we are world-class champions when it comes to the seventh code in rugby. With limited resources, no proper equipment and training, we prove to the world that we can be united and stronger when we come together as one. Thank you.